Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and in this video I'm going to be talking a little bit more about a potential racing class within GTA Online and explain my idea for this and how it could really improve racing on the game for everybody involved. So recently we've seen the inclusion of two brand new racing cars, the Massacro race car and the Jester race car. Now they feel very good in terms of race cars, you know, they're obviously very quick in the sports cars class. They've got all the liveries on that makes them look like racing cars. And it's really nice to see uh, an acknowledgement of the racing community by Rockstar and to have this uh, these proper race cars in the game. Now we've also seen from the stock car races in single player that there are other liveried versions of cars such as the Dominator and the Stallion uh, and it, it seems to be, we, we seem to be getting the, the racing community in the game recognised a little bit more. Now I've wanted to make a video for a long time about the class system in GTA Online and how the the, the classes don't really match up with the racing experience. For example, in the sports cars class, the slowest car is more than 10 seconds per lap slower than the fastest car. So you can never really use the slowest car in a race, in a competitive race, and, and each class sort of has one or two cars that are much better than all of the rest, and you, you pretty much have to use one of those two. Now that's pretty much the same for all of the classes and I, I was going to make a video saying we should rearrange all the classes and perhaps have it in terms of performance rather than uh, rather than the, the current system or at least give people the choice. But I think that's too big of a step, you know, that, that's not really going to happen anytime soon. Rockstar probably consider that to be too much of a hassle to sort out and really explain to people as well. Now I've mentioned before about multi-class racing and that was another idea that could sort of alleviate that problem a little bit and it would certainly make the races on GTA more fun if you could use two different classes in the same race but again that's another idea that might be a bit too much for Rockstar and it doesn't really solve the, the main problem that there are always one or two cars in each class that are better than the rest. Now, with the inclusion of the racing versions of the Massacro and the Jester, I think there is an option here, there's an opportunity here for a much better racing experience for everybody, and that would be a specific racing cars class. Now, I'm just going to put it out there before I get into the meat of it, this doesn't necessarily have to be a separate class, you know. All of the cars that I'm about to talk about could just be put into the sports class as normal, like the Jester and the Massacro have been. I just think it would probably be better if they were in their own separate class, and then we can leave the, the current classes as they are, and Rockstar are free to do what they want with them. So, obviously, the, the Jester race car and the Massacro race car are based on uh, real-world versions of GT cars. Now, GT cars in, real world, in the real world are sort of high-end production vehicles that are turned into race cars and you see these racing sort of in Le Mans, uh, the DTM series, other kinds of different series like that usually related to uh, endurance racing and GT sports car racing is one of the most common forms of racing in the entire world. So I would love to see that sort of thing brought to GTA Online. We've had the precedent set now with the Jester and the Massacro I'm going to show a few pictures on the screen of some examples of what I want to see from Rockstar in the near future. So we've already had the Jester race car and the Massacro race car based on real world cars. But I also want to see a 9F race car, a Banshee race car, a Carbonizer race car, a Comet race car, a Coquette race car, an Elegy race car, a Feltzer race car, a Serrano race car, and any other race cars that you want. Now, I, the, the pictures that I've just shown are real-life versions of GT racing cars that have if equivalent vehicles in the game. So, for example, you know, the, the Carbon is Air. That could be made into a race car and be based off the Ferrari uh, GT, GT car that we see in the World Endurance Championship and at Le Mans. The Comet race car could be based off the, the very common Porsche GT races. There's a lot of different cars that we have in GTA Online within the sports class specifically that could quite easily be made into GT variant of cars. So I think that the possibility and the potential is there, you know. Rockstar don't necessarily have to do too much with this. They don't have to invent brand new vehicles. They can take the cars that we already have within the sports cars class and just amend them a little bit, put some livery on them, 
Uh, give them maybe a few slight racing modifications as well, which would be nice to see, similar to the Jester and the Massacro. And there you go, you've got a GT car. Now, I, I really do think that this could be a great way to make the racing on GTA a lot better. It's, you don't necessarily, as I said, have to have them in their specific racing class, but if you just created a brand new class for race cars and had all of these cars in there, you could also add a few others as well. You know, you could have uh, a, a, a bullet race car, for example, and, and you know they, they, they have real-world equivalents of that in the past. Um, and you know all sorts of different things you don't even have to stick with real world stuff you can take any car that you want and make a GT variant of it a racing variant so that's what I want to see I want to see first of all more race cars like that like the Jester like the Massacro I want to see race car variants of all of the, a lot of the top sports cars to make them like sort of real GT cars that we see in the in real real life racing but Putting them onto into their own separate class would, in my opinion, make it even better because then you can play around with the the performance of them. Now, in reality, the the racing the racing variants of all of these cars should be quicker than supercars in this game. You know, in the in the real world, a Massacro GT car would absolutely demolish a Zentano on a track. So I, I do believe that sort of if Rockstar do decide to go down this route and put them into their own class, I'd like to see a bump in the performance of the cars so that they are pretty much the quickest cars in the entire game. But I also want to see some balance between the car performances. So even if they don't decide to bump the bump up the um, the the speed of the cars to make them quicker than supercars, even if they don't decide to put them into the, their own separate class and they just leave them in the sports class. There is something specific that I want to see from these race cars uh, and, and that's all to do with the performance of them and the way that they're balanced. So I'll take, I'll, I'll imagine that they aren't going to m mix anything up with the classes. They bring in, introduce all of these cars and just leave them in the sports cars class. Now, I want to see a p balance of performance. So basically what that means is all of the racing car variants of these vehicles should be within half a second of each other at the maximum. So at the moment, obviously, we've got the Elegy at the top of the sports class, and that is around half a second quicker than the Massacro race car. And in between that, we've got the Jester race car. Now, all of the race cars that I've mentioned in this video should be within that half a second barrier. So the Massacro race car should be the slowest race car in the entire game, and the Elegy race car should be the quickest now the energy race car i would consider just leaving the same as the regular energy because it, it does suffer from top speed and it's quite uh, it's quite hard to sort of get it consistently um, and really it's not that big of an advantage over what, what's already there so leave the leave the energy race car the same as the regular energy obviously the jester race car stays the same and leave the massacro race car the same as well because that has a specific uh, a specific usage. The Massacro race car is a lot better on tracks with a lot longer straights, and that should remain the same. So the Massacro race car, although it's half a second slower on a regular lap, it does have a strength away from the, the normal kind of thing. And the Massacro race car should be the slowest race car in the game. So the 9F race car, the Banshee race car, the Comet race car, they should all be given boosts to the, the regular car performance to put them within that half a second barrier. So for example, the Banshee race car might end up getting a, a one minute uh, 3.8. The Carbon Is Air race car gets a one minute 3.7. The Comet race car gets a one minute 3.5, same as the Elegy race car. I want all of the race cars to be within that half a second barrier in the testing that I've shown in, in the previous videos. Now by doing that, you keep all of the regular characteristics of the cars the same so you you know you can choose any of those cars in their racing variants and they will feel all slightly differently to each other and you can choose the one that suits your driving style the most or you can just choose random ones and in you be on the pace you can choose any car that you want within that class and it will be competitive it doesn't matter which one you have and that's all anybody really wants from racing. We want a variety of different cars that we can use, but we want them all to be competitive. Now, I can understand it might be a little bit difficult to sort of balance the cars in terms of how competitive they are around a track. 
I, Rockstar, if you are listening to this, I don't mind coming and testing them and doing that for you if you want. Uh, just, just let me know. Uh, but they, they seem to have done it very well with the Jester and the Massacro race car variants. I'm, I'm sure that they could do that. Now, the, as I said, it doesn't take that much to sort of make the cars that we already have in the game into racing car variants. We've got them there already. At the very least, that's what I want to see. And at the very least, I want them to be within that half a second barrier of each other. Extra added bonuses would be that they are put into their own specific racing cars class uh, and beyond that made sort of even quicker than uh, than the supercars. You know, that those are the kind of extra bits that I want to see. But first and foremost, I would love to see just racing variants of all of the top sports cars and for them to be within half a second of each other in terms of lap time. So you can choose either the Coquette, the Feltzer, the Elegy, the 9F. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Into, you just choose the one that suits your driving style the most and it will be competitive within those racing cars classes now the beyond that you could also have different classes different racing classes so you've got the, the top racing class which has included all of the cars that I've mentioned but you could have some liveried versions of other cars as well for example we've seen the, the Buffalo the, the Stallion the Dominator from the single player stock car races you could have racing versions of them put them into their own separate racing class and again balance them all out. That's all I want to see. I want to see a specific racing class or, spe or a few of them, two or three of them, that have a lot of different cars in with liveries on so they, they look like racing cars, they look like GT cars and they are all balanced for speed. So some cars will be better on some tracks than others but overall over the majority of tracks you can use any car and it will be on the pace that's all I want to see and with the with the precedent that they've set with introducing the Jester and the Massacro I think this is a very possible goal getting them to rearrange all of the classes in the game is just not going to happen this very much could happen so what I'm going to do I'm going to leave uh, leave a link to the email suggestion box for Rockstar it's basically GTA online at Rockstar Games if this is something that you want to see in for GTA racing let them know about it, click the link in the description, send them an email, link them to this video and let them know as a racing community this is the sort of thing that we want to see. We want a lot of different cars, we want a lot of different racing cars and we want them to be all balanced. That's the most important thing, they have to be balanced, they all have to be usable in a race and all continue to have their own different characteristics. So that's pretty much it for this video. I wanted to make it just to just to basically get this idea out there because it's one that has sort of come about a lot more since the, the intro introduction of the Jester and the Massacro race cars and I think it really would improve the racing experience for those of us who really do like to race competitively on GTA. But as always, this is a discussion video, so let me know your thoughts down below in the description. Is this something that you want to see or do you disagree? Do you want to see something else entirely? Or would you just prefer to, to have the classes rearranged completely? Let me know down below. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like and uh, all that good stuff if you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.